Don't you just love walking through the grass? And looks like this stuff needs mowed down so we can put it in bales. But it's supposed to rain, so we can't do that. What are we going to do? Nothing else but driver new four-wheeler. Let's get to it. So, we picked up a new four-wheeler. If you don't know, Grant basically outbid us on the last auction, so I have been looking for a good Yamaha for a while. Really wanted one just for basically hunting and just for funs and kicks. But today, we actually have a mission. I would like to buy more land. So, I'm going to look at expanding my fields. And what better way to really look at the soil, look at everything around the land, than driving a four-wheeler. And I want to drive it. Driving four-wheeler is fun. So I'm going to do something you should never do at home. Never, never do this without ramps. Ready? Yeah. Look at that. Like a professional. Look. No hands. No hands. No hands. Ghost hands. I'm all steering with my, I guess, knees? I have no idea. So, I just thought I'd drive this around a little bit. I'm going to, one, look at my uh, crops here. I would like to make sure just to see if I don't need any uh, spraying. Don't really see a lot of weeds in these, so I think we are pretty good in this field. You don't know this used to be our old one of our old hay fields it's the first year of crops so I think I may need to fertilize this again just because it's not used to crop rotation might think about that next growth stage but them beans look pretty good hey is this a jump down here oh yep Play around here a little bit. Alright, that's enough fun over there. Looks like our beans are actually doing almost as well as uh, Grant's over here. So, about the same height. Definitely should not have beans. Our beans should outdo Grant's. That's my goal. Alright, so we're going to look at our corn here too. So... Corn is what? Above knee high, I would say. This is also another grass field we uh, dissed up, put crops in. I'm really impressed with my straight rows here. GPS is the way to go. If you guys don't know, definitely looking pretty good so far. Don't see any uh, weeds coming up. Soil looks like it's still healthy. They are looking a tad... I would like them to look more green. And that might just be because we haven't had many sunny days. Corn loves sunshine. It's almost like Superman. Gets strong in the sunshine. So, looks like... But if we don't get many more sunny days, we might have to put a little bit more nitrogen into it. But we will see about that later. I also want to look at my big fields over here. So we're just driving around. We're going to do some crop... We're going to basically do some uh, crop scouting and also... Always look both ways before you cross the street. Don't do what I do. But we're going to look at our crops and basically look at them a little bit. I wonder why this grass patch is here. That's a little odd, but all right. So this grass we actually planted this year and I'm looking pretty good. Looks like I was planning on mowing this grass down, but it's supposed to rain here soon. There's a chance of rain. If you look at the clouds, looks like something may be coming up too. So just gonna wait a day or so, maybe a few days, till we start doing that. 
Let's walk through here. I'm not going to walk very deep in this field. This was uh, last year's rotation. Still got some straight rolls here. Man, am I good. It's all GPS. Just kidding. I don't see any weeds in that field either. Ghosting again. No hands. No hands gonna go over this little hill. Woo! Uh-oh. Doesn't look like our beans over here have come up yet. That's a little bit concerning. I was hoping they would start breaking through. Hopefully they come up here soon. So we got a pretty impressive amount of acres we planted. My goal is to be the biggest farmer around. I want to be bigger than Grant. I want to shoot him down. Grant's focusing on his dealership, and I think now is the time to overtake him. He is focused on his farming. We can take over the land. We can be the biggest farmers around. Yes, Grant will have a dealership, but we will have the biggest farm around. So I'm kind of looking, I'm not crazy about Kanoa. This is one giant field of canola. I'm not driving on the hardened path basically because you're not allowed to with ATVs in the uh, state of Iowa. So I'm trying to stay off just to the side. And I'm not really driving in this farmer's uh, crop. But I'm just trying to look around. This field is just gigantic. I mean, look at it. Basically, it's all the way back to the road you go cut over to Grant's dealership to the city of Moore. That's crazy. That is one big field. Probably a little bit too big for our operations. One of the things we are going to have to consider is, uh oh, hopefully this guy doesn't come out with a gun or something. Just sneak on by. I wasn't expecting to go that close to a house. That might have been his backyard. Hopefully I didn't piss him off. I'm going around. I really wasn't expecting this field to be this big. Here we go. Now we got the dirt path. Now we can start flying. Now this field over here. Wait. Yep. This field is already owned. Pretty sure this field is already owned. Thinking this is Austin's field? No. No, it's not. This is a possibility. That field is a possibility right there. So, I guess Austin owns the field on the other side of it. That was a little bit wrong. My navigation. So I would like to go to this ultimate farmyard over here. So basically this has been uh, bank owned for a while. There's a rumor going around that this used to be a huge farm a couple years ago. They owned almost all the land around here. They just grew a little bit too big. They had a few bad years and now the bank is starting to get this ready for auction because it is basically a ghost town the one good thing i like is one their giant building here that's nice and two their grain bin operation this is something pretty nice i think so this is something i may see may consider building so but it's kind of weird their dryers running and no one's around like that's a little bit odd so they do have a odd chicken coop in the middle of nowhere I'm just being snoopy but I was told that this is soon coming under auction 
think this farmyard is just a little bit too big for us and I'm kind of happy with our farmyard right now. I really like this building though. I would consider moving this building. Probably would have to tear it down and build it up at my farm. But that is a nice building. I do like that uh, like that aircraft. I, I, can, I think of these doors as an aircraft hangar door. I see them a lot on aircraft hangers, but a couple old, uh, what do you call these, quonsets? Maybe I'm wrong with my term there. They would be nice for a couple semis. Just a nice place all around. Got a nice little gate there. Really like their fence sense of them. So, just snooping. Driving through their grass here. So anyways, I was pretty interested in this field. Nope, this is the wrong field. It's odd. Somebody's planting uh, sugar beets in Iowa. I don't know for sure if Iowa's a known for sugar beets. So this looks like it's planted with barley. So pretty sure this field is for sale by the landowner. Or maybe it's the bank. So I'm gonna look out here and just snoop. I wanna see how good their uh base their crops doing here. Looks like a fairly good we do have some weeds here So if we did purchase this we'd have to spray for some weeds. I Don't know if this crop would come with the purchase or the prior landowner would get to harvest it Don't know Something to consider though I wonder might have to do some inquiring about if what this field is listed for. Kind of like it. Let's. I think I'm going to drive around it a little bit. I'm not for sure on how big this field is. Don't want to get too big of a field because we really don't have that too big of implements. I'm not big on having all my ducks in basically one field. Like that, uh, basically like for this this canola field here if canola isn't doing good this year that farmer is really gonna be hurt if you own that land that's not a big deal but if you're making payments on that land that's a big deal if you have one massive crop like that not do good so I think it's smarter to make smaller purchases where we can easily afford the land payments every year and not have to stress over making perfect decisions and the weather being perfect the yield being perfect uh oh I'm driving by somebody through somebody's yard again I'm sorry I do like your little uh, yard building there though so this oh, I see some more weeds out there they're so tall it's odd that they're flowers so Oh, so this is Austin's, I believe. Or maybe Bucks. Austin's or Bucks, I believe. Pretty sure that field is owned. And I'm pretty positive this field is for sale. Not crazy about having some barley, but we will be able to bale that. The straw, at least. Don't know what we get for a yield. Ooh. I wonder where our land stops. There we go. I'm curious. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna snoop. I just can't help myself. I'm gonna snoop. So that barn is chained up. Can't get into that barn. Not gonna break anything. If it's open, I'm gonna go in. Right? That's hopefully 
I'm just curious about buying this land. I just want to see how structurally sound these uh, buildings are. So it looks like we got an old barn that I'd be afraid of it coming down any time. So that probably is a safe bet that we probably should tear that barn down just so we don't get the liability of somebody it's coming down on somebody or falling down on us, one of the two. Looks like a little itty bitty cabin out here. Yeah, got a little cabin. That's chained up too. Let's see if we can get into the back of this barn. So the back of the barn looks like a no-go. Same with this other building. I'm not for sure what this building would be. Probably like an old granary. I know in the olden days they really didn't have bins. They just had uh, buildings. So it might be something like that. Now this building looks a hair newer. I don't know if I can get through these trees. Where is that building again? I got lost in the trees. All right, there it is. Looks like maybe the back of it here. All right, so we got it. Yeah, didn't see an opening there. So we got bushes. Man, this really overgrew this area. What? What? Man, is that an old tractor in here? Wow. Look, this thing is buried in the dirt or the grass. Man, that thing is nice. You know what? I'm really going to try to buy this land now. If that tractor is comes with this if this piece of land counts in with that land purchase so I'm gonna ask if that tractor will come it'll be kind of the final straw once we agree with everything I'll be like okay the workhorse goes with the deal I'm not doing it I'm walking away we shake now if the workhorse is in the deal I think I just want the land for that workhorse, but honestly, I mean, this is a good piece of land. Not too hilly, you know, definitely doesn't have many uh, low uh, yield spots because I can kind of tell just by walking through the field, it's not going to have a lot of bottom ground where you lose crops with uh, extra flooding or moisture, but or high ground where it basically starves itself for moist moisture and uh, you lose yield there pretty impressed so I think this is a good field anyways so I'm really curious on what they want for this looks like this is an old Highline pole road here so I don't know if this road would basically mark the land boundaries being since it's a Highline because they basically put wherever they want to so this is for the electrical company service road so it could if we purchase this land could count these buildings and everything so I'm gonna take this forward with the back and I, I'm gonna figure out who owns this land and if it is on for sale because I want that tractor Want to see how fast this four-wheeler goes? Way too quick. Way too quick. This is like one of them four-wheelers. I, I never drove on a four-wheeler that goes faster than 50 mile an hour. And, it's, and we, we're touching 70 right there. I don't know. I mean, do they make four-wheelers like this nowadays? Back in our... Uh, my parents used to own a Prairie 400 and I got in a lot of trouble with that thing. A Kawasaki Prairie 400. And that thing was a beast. That was when 400 were basically big for four-wheelers. I know they're kind of... I don't even think they're medium anymore. But 
that thing would go about 45 to 50 and one of the first Kawasaki's that was uh, automatic drive oh we got to look at this field so this field is not up yet either hmm unfortunate so we planted this field into corn so a little bit later than everything else but hopefully this will start sprouting we're definitely gonna you lose a little bit of yield because of when we planted it but oh well can't get a mole in the first day so we're going to look this up on the uh, computer here. I have a website that per you can purchase most of the land. I think it's landandfarm.com. We'll look at that quickly here. So it looks like, according to this website, the owner is Peter Wood. And it is $180,000. So we don't have that. So we're going to have to go to the bank and ask for money. Good thing is I was going to go to the bank anyway to ask for money because I'm always broke. But let's make a trip, go downtown and eat, enjoy ourselves some little uh, steak dinner, ask for more money for the banker because, you know, that's always smart. So we're just going to race down and talk to the banker. Just called him up. He's really excited to see us. Nah, he's not really. I think he's kind of... Really hope we could sell purchasing this land to him because on the phone he really didn't seem too excited about it. I'm gonna have to have my ducks in a row and my game face on, that's for sure. Man, somebody put a pressure washer right in the middle of the road. Believe that? So we're over here at our bank. We're gonna hopefully convince him to be able to purchase this land. I don't know. Alright, wish me luck. So we got it. I'm so excited. So it actually worked out. Peter Wood is actually one of their clients too. So he's going through a few hard times and that's why he's basically selling it. So it's kind of a win-win. Branks get to basically transfer it over to another one of their clients. I don't think I would have convinced them. It basically Peter Wood wasn't their client, but thank goodness luck prevailed for me today. But now we are new landowners. I'm so excited. In that tractor and them buildings, that's our land. We shaked on the deal, that's our tractor. So no more extra money. I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna go pick up that tractor or at least try to get it out of that building. Get it back to my shop and see if we can work on it because I want a workhorse on the farm. So you guys are probably all saying, why do you need another tractor on the farm? One, if I can get that thing running, I could sell it or I could sell another one of my tractors. There's a few tractors I don't use much anymore. so. Why not? That's like an extra benefit. I can almost pay, if I sell that tractor all fixed up and nice, I might be able to pay the first uh, six months land payment. So that right there, I think, sealed the deal for me. I don't know if I want to sell that tractor though, but I really want to get it home and into my shop. So we need to go get a trailer. So I think actually I'm not going to get a trailer. I'm going to use my uh, Ford 9000. So you're probably looking up there. Why did you borrow so much money? I got plans. I got plans. Soon you'll see. I got more purchasing plans, let's just say. So I did sell a few trucks. So that Peterbilt at uh, Mike's Garage I sold to. So that is gone. I'm going to have to make some few purchases. Uh, the red uh, Mac is gone too. So I, I've been selling some stuff. I've been doing fairly good. Not as good as I want to be, but pretty good. 
Uh, but we're gonna use this Ford 9000 here with a flatbed back. It just doesn't get much love, and I want to give it a little bit of love, and a, I think that tractor will fit nicely on the back. Hoping so, at least. Glad this thing started right up. So I think I'm gonna take this over to my garage, and I'm going to put some, uh, the ramps I have for the back end on it. So we'll drive it into here. I think that shop is a little bit crowded right now. Let's get these ramps put on. Where did I put them? All right, so I got them on. They're kind of heavy, so I needed the loader tractor over there to put them on, but everything worked out. That's basically, if you look how high they are, it's why we usually don't put them on, because they're kind of high and an eyesore, but they're kind of a nice necessity if you're gonna put something on this flatbed, because you can basically use anything on this truck, so. We're gonna use this truck. I think it looks pretty nice with them on. Looks like Grant cleaned up around his place. So if you don't know, Grant got hit by a pretty bad uh, tornado. So he got a lot of stuff. Basically a lot of trees blowed down. I think he had a lot of equipment damage. Luckily that tornado just missed us completely. Got Grant pretty bad though. All right. I think yeah, I follow the Highline poles all the way back here. Good thing is I remember my uh, chainsaw. Might end up needing that. All right, lower that ramp. All right. So looking at it here, it looks like I'm going to need to cut this tree down. That was easy. I think that tree is out of the way now. So we ended up digging this tractor out. It was basically from years and years of uh, wind blowing dirt in and everything. Kind of buried in here. At least buried it a little bit. So we, it's out of the ground now. I just want to see something. I'm just curious. So actually we jump this. I wonder if this thing will start. Action. I'm going to put this ramp up and see if I can get this truck in here far enough to put some jumper cables in there. See if we can start that old tractor up. Alright, so we got to be careful. Definitely don't want to put a scratch on this truck. Still need to sell it. Alright. Do have pretty long jumper cables. All right, that's as far as I want to take it. So we'll put the jumper cables on here for a little while. All right, so let's see. First, got to check the oil. Uh, all the tires are aired up. It's gonna make sure there isn't no major oil leak back here. Doesn't look too bad. All right. Uh-oh. The starter at least works. The good thing is that motor turned over. It means it's not seized. That is a good sign. Actually. I think I may need to drain the fuel tank. So I'm going to drain that into a bucket. I got a little bit of diesel fuel with me and we'll put that in there and hopefully and I think a little bit of ether. Ether starts everything. Even tractors have been sitting 10 years, maybe. Maybe a little bit less. So I brought all this along with me. Alright, so we got the fuel tank dra drained. The batteries has been charging continuously. The engine still has some oil. We definitely need to do an oil change with the oil filter. 
and a fuel filter. I cleaned out the fuel filter just to hope to be able to start it up. New fuel is in it. Let's see. What? This thing started. How cool is that? All right, I'm gonna get out here and just make sure I don't hear anything loud. It's very quiet. Yeah, it's running. A workhorse 195. That's impressive. All right, so I don't want this running too long, so I'm just gonna hopefully be able to drive it right onto this truck right away. All right, so that's lowered. This is so convenient. We don't even have to winch it on. So, all right, so we're in gear. It actually looks like that might be the reason I'm not able to get it in any gear than other than first so it is a quad shift so basically I can only get it in a function don't know if I can get it into reverse it's just not letting me into reverse yeah, it's just not going at all. Looks like I can only go forward. Well, the good thing is we can move the truck. So we'll move this quickly here. That should be good. Yep, that looks like that's good. All right. Man, this thing is hard to shift. I'm really wondering if the transmission gave him issues. All right. Oh, this thing gonna be too wide for this? Man, this is scary up this high with this tractor. Alright, there we got it. Man. So we got it loaded. Got everything on, let's get them back ramps on. All right, so we're gonna take off. We're gonna go, hopefully be able to take it to my garage. It's crazy, I've found, this is the third piece of equipment I've found. So, I found an international. I found mini bind. And now I find Workhorse. I don't know. Which one is your favorite? Barn Find. Or Webro Find. Thinking this may be my favorite find. If I can get this thing running really well for cheap. This may be my favorite find. I don't know. Driving by Grant's place. He has a lot of glass in his building there. I gotta take this really slow. That bump he has back there is just unbelievable. Definitely a high load we got here. So it's definitely high in the air. A little bit. Luckily we don't we're not going under any uh, highline poles here. Low hanging trees. Just one little turn over here and uh we're about at the home stretch. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.